What's going on guys? So we're here back here again at McKibben Honda Powerhouse here in Winter Haven, Florida. And we have been invited again for another big unboxing. I think he said he's got something he wants to me to get recorded. It's like a CBR 250 or a CBF 250. It's one of the sport bikes, something like that for off-roading. He said, hey, I've got that. I'll see what else I can find. So I don't know what he's actually going to have for us today. I'm just going from here. He told me about a twin, Africa twin or something. He's got some really special edition. We'll see if he'll get it in today or I can get it unboxed. But we're going to go ahead and head on in here this is one of the powerhouse one of only four dealerships in all of florida that basically i'm telling you when i was shopping around for my honda this is where i came they had the lowest price in the state and i emailed 14 different dealers so let's go ahead and head on inside casey and them have really opened up an extension to come out here and uh welcome us in so let's go ahead and head on inside so here we go guys here's a brand new right out of the crate it's gonna be the honda crf 125 so you can see it comes out of the port of Jacksonville right here. You can see it. And so that's where it goes. It says made in China. It's not a made in America. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna quickly put this thing together, but this is exactly how it looks. And it's great, it actually doesn't have a, a wooden sides or like the cardboard sides like my uh, Honda Grom did. That's actually pretty cool. You can see ER's already ripped the sides off so they can loosen it up for us. So giving you a quick sneak peek before we go ahead and put this thing together. See what I mean? So basically all he's going to have to do is looks like put the tires and stuff on. So we'll let the mechanic go ahead and get to it and we'll start showing you as it's going along. There you go. So as you can see, he only has to do the bolts. Just like on my Grom video, all he has to do is take a couple bolts off and just pulls it apart. But unlike the Grom, he actually has to put the front wheel on. That's what he just took over to the side real quick. And then he's got a couple things obviously he's got to put on. And basically these bikes come straight out of the uh, packaging already done. It's actually pretty good. It's gotta be really nice for them. As you can see, here we go. All the cages off it. It's ready to go. We just gotta take blocks off and stuff like that and work from here. Check this thing out. Come along pretty fast. What do you say? About 20 minutes to install it? Put everything together? Yeah, a little Maybe, longer now. A little longer? Okay. There's a lot it's of pretty cool. The smaller the bike, the more pieces they come in. Ah, I see, I see. The bigger bikes, they're pretty much put together. All right, well, let's go ahead and get ahead and get to the next Okay, stop. so anybody who's out there wondering how many pieces come that he actually has to assemble straight out of the box, here you go. So what he was saying is the smaller the bike, the more parts they have to be put together. Where on my Grom, they only had to have mirrors installed. Where on that little CRF 125, look at all the things he actually has to assemble. I mean, the battery's not even in the bike where it was with my Grom. That is absolutely crazy. So he said it takes about 30 minutes to install the M-Bike. We won't be here in 30 minutes. We'll cut it down for you guys. But I thought you guys might actually like to see what he actually has to work with. Check him out, guys. How you doing? There's the full McKibben race trailer right here. Already got the brand new CR, uh, CRF 250R and the 450RX ready to go into the extra trailer. I don't know if they said they're going to a race or what's going on, but I saw this when I was actually uh, getting ready to, when I was recording the 125 over there inside, and I was like, ooh, I've got to come out there and record this real quick. Show off some brand new toys they just got in that they're going to be taking out here, and this is their actual stuff here, their actual transporter truck. So in case anybody needs to know their phone number, here it is. But there you go. Pretty cool, ready to set up. I better head back inside for the 125. Big Daddy, Mama, and then the little boys inside. So I don't know if you guys can see this. You can see the wires coming off, but the wires lead to is actually the um, the actual throttle and stuff like that. He's working on it right now for the bike. Because he has to, you know, unlike like I said, the bigger bikes where everything's already assembled, he actually has to put everything in a little bit at a time and uh, put it actually on the bars. Because as you can see, there's no bars and no front wheel on it. So he has to assemble all this on these little tiny bikes. So like I said, we're gonna, it takes about 30 minutes, he said, to put everything together, and then uh, we'll be ready to ride for some young person out there for Christmas, because we are just over a week away from Christmas already. Here you go, guys. You can see the handlebars and all, all assembled. It's finishing up the other side. And then what do you all have left? Just the tires, right? Fender and tires. Not bad at all. Not bad um, at all. A little skid plate underneath. It's just flying right together, isn't it? A lot it? of friggin' little pieces on these small boats. You can see that now. It's pretty crazy. So next time you'll probably see this, we'll put the tires on and skid plate and basically wrapping it all up. Not bad, though. We've got a couple demos I think we're going to get this year. Oh, so wheels are finally going in. It's starting to look like a full motorcycle almost. I figure the next time you guys will see this one, 
It'll be all put together finally. Not bad, not bad. There you go, guys. It's basically all put together. All he said he has to do now is just put the foot pegs on. But we have a brand new 2018 Honda CRF uh, 125F right here. So you can see all he said put the pegs on. And that's it. That's why he puts on the stand. Not bad. Not bad. And it only took, I would say, like 20 to 30 minutes, just like he said. So the next time it's it's all done, ready to go. I think the cut is the customer here already. Is this one of the ones the customers here? There you go. It's already waiting, and it'll be out of here already. That's how fast they needed it. So guys, I really hope you like this video. I want to show you, go ahead and show you real quick their actual checklist right here. The top one is actually for his, the mechanic to go ahead and do it. He has to go through all this stuff. And the bottom one here is actually what the um, salesperson has to go through and do it. It's actually pretty cool. And then they have to turn all this stuff in. You can see the dealership's name and stuff like that in it. So it's really cool. Big shout out to uh, Larry here for letting me uh, come by and actually record while he actually put it all together. And their special thanks to McKibben for letting us actually uh, be in the back here with Larry and hang out and have some fun today. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you slam them with a huge thumbs up and I'll see you all at the very next unboxing. Take care.